I draw these interesting conclusions or, or parallels, sorry, between getting people to just look at belief. Like let, let's strip back belief, let's look at its polarity and let's make a decision as to where we are on the spectrum. And so on the spectrum, you've got the belief of like Elon Musk and people that we hold in high regard. And so Elon Musk is trying to get us to Mars. He believes that, you know, that's the only way we're going to survive. Because if you look at the journey of a planet, planets always become extinct. Like they're born and they die every single day in our solar system. That's just what happens to planets. And so truly the only way to, to, to advance humanity is to travel. Like we used to travel through water, like, and we built boats to do that. So why do we think it's crazy to build a rocket to go to Mars? Like it's just, instead of horizontal navigation, it's, it's vertical navigation. And so, you know, we've got a guy like Elon Musk who really believes in it. Like he's given his, like he risked everything in order to try to achieve like interstellar travel for humanity. Like that's pretty cool. And that's what belief does. And you've got the other side of belief, which is Hitler and, and, the, and the tyranny he unleashed on the world because of his belief system. And he believed that Jews and, and whatever his underlying belief system, but below all the surface stuff that we know about, like we're still unclear of to what his real motivation was. But in terms of his belief system, you know, he believed things like the Jews had a different bone structure. And so they weren't quite human. You know, they, they, they evolved from a different race. And so they, how dare they call themselves like pure race, like an Aryan blonde hair, blue eyes. And so he almost had this like disdain or disgust for the Jewish culture. And it led him to, to, to kill 6 million people, you know, drag them out of their homes and, and shoot them and torture them and, and enlist a whole army of people to do the same thing, to believe and subscribe to his belief system. So in the book, I'm drawing this parallel between, hey, let's look at belief and the spectrum of belief. And why don't you just decide where you are on the spectrum of belief? Because there's... There, your belief system will, will drive you to do different things. And so you could be on the Hitler side or close to it, which would be, I call like a Columbine high school shooter that says, Hey, humanity sucks and humanity's terrible. And I think I'm the one to clean it up. Or you could be on the side of, of Elon Musk and say, Hey, you know what? Something I do could potentially change the world in a small way and send a ripple throughout existence. And so you could, you could be on that side of the, of the belief system. And so we say, okay, so we've got Elon, we've got Hitler, we've got Columbine and someone that wants to do something really cool that would change some lives. Where are you at on that spectrum? And I want to highlight the importance of belief in your own life because your belief system will drive you to do really cool things if you allow it to. And so the question in the book, in the first chapter I pose is like, do you believe? Like, what do you believe? Where are you at on the spectrum? And where do you think your belief could take you? And so that's why I draw a, a comparison between Hitler and Elon Musk so that people can decide for themselves where they truly believe in themselves. Because sadly, people don't believe in themselves.